Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do some altered art. I'm planning on altering this paintbrush here. Um, I had a party for my daughter last weekend where we had an Alice in Wonderland themed tea party and I bought little kind of gifts for the favours for her friends at the end. Um, so I had like little necklaces and bracelets that I'd got really cheap off eBay. Um, that had these little charms on them. So I had those left over and of course immediately into my head popped a mixed media project. So I've grabbed those together. I've also checked my stash and I've got more charms that I thought might suit and I've got bottles. Um, one of the Sospeso flowers that I made the other day. Some frames. <laughs> so with all of these bits and bobs I don't exactly know what I'm going to do but I'm going to try and do that and I'm going to use the Polka Doodles Winnie in Wonderland collection. So I've literally just um, printed off bits that I know I would want so I've taken those from the images section and printed images that I knew I would want but just to give you a feel for the sort of thing that's in the kit I printed off some of the design sheets so I'll probably be using bits and bobs from these but not not all of it um, and so that's I'm seeing I need to clean my printer but they're really good um, high quality um, images and really versatile so just thought I'd show you those and I'm going to go ahead and try and alter this. Now I've already um, gessoed this um, it's, you've not missed much. <laughs> but the reason I'd done that was I bought a pack of three paint brushes from the pound shop a little while ago and I actually altered one for one of the Hachanda TV shows. Um, if you want to see see that, um, if you check my Instagram, it's on there. And I used this gesso here, the Pinty Plus gesso. I love this. If you do a lot of altered art, um, this is brilliant because it gets into all the nooks and crannies easier than just dry brushing it. Um, but dry brushing is fine when it's a canvas but I just find for mixed media projects this is a little bit easier um, and it dries very even so I, I do like it. Um, but I've already done that so I'm going to go straight on to the painting and because it's a paintbrush I just couldn't help but think of <laughs> let's paint the roses red <laughs> so I'm going to get I've got my Dilusions paint I've got um, black marble and this is when I realise I haven't used it in a while so I've got black marble here and then I have got red post box red I was going to say that's not a very interesting name oh it's terrible I've not even used this one I'm getting a brand new packet <laughs> Oh dear, I buy so many goodies because I absolutely need them. And then it's finding the time, finding the time to create, to do all the ideas that are in my, your, my head. How many people here have more ideas than time? And then it's trying to decide which ones <laughs> to go with. So I'm going to paint the top of this brush black. Um, and then we'll see how we go. I will probably paint the back of it as well at some point. I'll maybe just do that later because it's a bit of a pain to dry. So I'm going to paint that black. That's actually covering really well. So I'm quite pleased with that. Get right in there. And so the fact that it's been gessoed before gives it that gives it that surface um, to work on. I love doing things like this. You can get really cheap stuff. As I said, this was three paint brushes for a pound in the pound shop, that's in the UK. But I'm sure the various other countries you have your equivalent bargain bargain store. Um, and I'm going to come down into the paintbrush as well a little bit. And the paintbrush is a little bit tricky. <laughs> I've done a few of these and I don't think I've quite mastered the technique. So if anybody has <laughs> if anyone has hits and tim hit, oh, hints even hints and tips on how to get a good coverage I would be very grateful because I do find it's a little bit of a fiddle now let me see, I think I'll have black coming further down this side that black will be lifted eventually when we get um, lots more goodies onto this but I couldn't not 
How can you do an Alice in Wonderland altered brush without making it painted the roses red? I know it's completely obvious. It's like obvious choice. <laughs> but you know. That's what we like. Ironically, my husband and daughter are downstairs. I say downstairs, I'm in the attic. I'm in the loft. It's not even a nice converted loft with like, you know, Velux windows and plush. It's literally, I am literally amongst the beams and the insulation. <laughs> with a hundred, well maybe not a hundred, two or three daylight light bulbs right over my desk so I can actually see the colours I'm working with as I'm working. And I'm going to get the red and pop that up there. It's mixing a little bit because my black's still still wet. But that's okay because we can always go in and do another another layer. And I'm taking it out of my lid so it'll be easy enough to clean without contaminating. This is where I get paint all over my fingers. I'm not a tidy crafter. You've probably come to appreciate that if you've already discovered me. I'm slowly getting slowly getting out there. <laughs> so if you do like my videos I would so appreciate <laughs> A like, a subscribe, a share. I'm being patient and I'm trying my best to get the word out there that I'm here. We'll see how we go. I'm actually just going in with a bit more paint. Slightly heavier. That. Sorry, stop talking. It's like the sound of silence. Yeah, so as I was saying, ironically, because we just had the Alice in Wonderland party last week, I, I did actually attempt making a cake. Um, again, that's on my Instagram. It's not, I do not claim to be a cake decorator. I am not in the slightest. But, you know, it was my attempts and it was for a bunch of six-year-olds. Well, maybe like nine to five-year-olds, but most of them were six. Um, so... I just thought my attempts would be good enough. It was a bit of fun. They all loved it. They were all fighting over the Alice legs. So if I've intrigued you now, you have to go and check out my Instagram. Yeah, I actually post a lot more makes on Instagram because obviously making the videos takes time and I can't necessarily video and edit every make that I do. Because I'm also on the design team for Polka Doodles. So I have makes for that once a fortnight and I'm on the mixed media one which is we love to create and I have makes for that once a month. So yeah, I'm kept busy and I can't film everything. So if you want to see everything, if you're somewhat interested, I'd like to use the word inspired but you know that's maybe a stretch, but if you're somewhat interested feel free to go out and check that out. Now, the thing is with doing an altered art project or a mixed media project, there's lots of drying um, in between in between stages and it's best just to leave it. I could blast that with a heat gun. I have done that in the past because I lack patience, um, but then I find it goes all bubbly and it annoys me. And sometimes I, I don't mind it, it depends what I'm making, um, but I don't particularly want the bubbly texture in this today. So what I am going to do now is I'm just going to take myself off camera while that dries and whilst I'm off camera I'm going to cut out all the bits and bobs and effeminate from the Winnie in Wonderland from Polka Doodle Sheets that I mentioned and I will come back and we'll attempt to put all of this together. Okay, see you soon. Hello and welcome back. So, in my world it's tomorrow. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to finish off my brush. So what I did while I was off camera was I cut up some bits and pieces that I wanted. And all of these have been inked with Distress Oxide. Vintage photo. I'm just going to do it to this little frame. So that I can just show you what I did. So I just put a little bit of vintage photo onto all of the embellishments and then a little bit of gilding wax as well which I will just add on to this. So again this is these are were cheap little frames from the works. Um, I love picking stuff up from the works. Oh sorry I'm off camera. Right I need to get my brain into gear. Remember, I'm in recording mode. 
Yeah, so I love picking up bits and pieces from the works. I quite often do, because um, you can get things really cheap and you can alter them. The other thing is charity shops, and I've, I uh, went around the charity shops the other day and picked up a few goodies, which I'm excited about, so they will become altered art projects soon enough. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll be playing with those soon. So I'm always on the lookout for a bargain. I'm going to buff that. I if you've watched any of my videos, we'll have, we'll have gone over, over this so wide to to buff it. It just brings out the brings out the shine. Now also, while I was off camera, as I worked out my layout, now what I do when I'm crafting is I kind of work out where I want to go. Um, and then because I can never remember quite how I had it and remember to lay it out the same, that annoys me. So what I tend to do is take a photograph of it in its rough state. Um, I don't know if you can see that. And then I try and follow that. So that's my rough idea and I will be trying to follow that to create that. So first of all I need to make my little frame. So I want my queen to kind of be popping out out from that. So what I'm going to do is just glue her legs to the back of this frame. They have been chopped off a little bit, but you know. <laughs> At least it's not her head. have to say when we had the tea party, I did dress up as the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> I don't know what it is about all these films. I always seem to like the baddie. I dressed up party once. I once dressed up as Cruella de Vil. I've now dressed up as the Queen of Hearts as well. My favourite character in Rapunzel is Mother Gotham. So I don't quite, I don't quite know what all of that says about me. But you know, I had immense fun. Yeah, I had noticed when I was watching a little bit of the video that I'd recorded back because I had other stuff to put on, load onto my computer. So I like to watch it all over just to make sure that it's okay. Um, that I'd started telling you about three times that it was ironic that I was up here making Alice in Wonderland stuff and my daughter was downstairs watching Alice in Wonderland. So if I had actually finished that sentence that would have maybe been a bit interest. But now she's sleeping and um, goodness knows what my husband's watching. Something with Tom Cruise in it I think. Right. So that's going to be my little feature there, and I've just put the bit of backing paper behind her. Okay, I'm just referring to my to my picture again to get a rough rough idea of what I'm doing. So I was wanting up there to be a clock about there. I think now that I've done this bit, I should be able to assemble this together um, quite quickly. I'm just using my Cosmic Shimmer for this, and then I'll get my gel medium out when it comes to sticking down the metal embellishments. <clears throat> now in this case I don't mind writing going on upside down in my projects, I think it tends to add add to the quirkiness of things, but in this case I do want it to be the right way around. My clocks however are a bit all over the place. There, I want it right, I want it right there. <clears throat> you can tell I was resting that on the paintbrush whilst uh, it was drying because we've got a few black lines down the back of that there. Okay, then I also, this was um, a little playing card of hearts. Let's see if I can grab my sheet. And I've just actually chopped all the, I've just, oh, there it is, that's the remainder of it. It was like a little playing card with lots of hearts, um, but I've just chopped it into strips to make little ribbons. So I did that. Trying to refer to my photograph again. Yes, so now because I've had a little play, hopefully I should be able to assemble this together quite quickly. So, what's your favourite Alice in Wonderland character? There is a question. Why is it we all love it so much? There's just something about the quirkiness of it, isn't it? Oh, I had a great time at the party. Honestly, I bought. A3 playing cards and it decorated my whole house in them. They were literally in the hallway, on the front gate, um, all around my living room, all around the garden 
I had teacups hanging from the ceiling, all, all uh, my daughter's plastic teacups got used as um, <laughs> got used as decorations. But I think the kids loved it, so that's good. And I loved it. I enjoyed playing the role of Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Set off with their heads quite a lot, so that seemed to go down well. <laughs> it made them all giggle anyway. So that was fun. So I think I'm still in Alice in Wonderland mode. I've been wanting to do that tea party for a long time. But we built an extension a few years ago. Well, it's more than a few years ago now, so my daughter was only little. We needed room for her. <laughs> so we built an extension. Um, and the garden still never quite got finished. So we, I've been promising her this party for ages but it's just never quite happened. Now that's ended up further, not quite in the spot where I wanted, but I can live with that I think. also want to put a little heart up here. I have chopped her crown off, but that is because I'm going to add a metal charm. So I will do that in just a minute. I'm just going to pop that up there. And then I'm going to have Heart here, I want to still be able to read the writing. So actually once, it's a fairly quick project, apart from the drying time in between, which wasn't too long, and in all honesty, like I'm back the next day because that's the way circumstances turned out. Well actually what happened is I came back to finish it um, and the battery on my camera had died. So I ended up having to leave the recording and go and edit some of the the videos that I've been recording over the past few days. I'm hoping to get myself ahead with my videos and then that means I can kind of start sticking to a regular a regular schedule. My aim at the minute is to do one polka doodles tutorial a week and one something else a week. Um, but it's going to take me a little while to be advanced enough in my videos that that is feasible. Okay, so that's that's all the stuff that I'm doing with the Cosmic Shimmer Glue. I'm now going to get out my gel medium because this stuff's just a little bit stronger. And we can hold that. And let me see if I can find a bit of a dodgy brush out. <laughs> I seem to have stuff everywhere. Honestly, you look at this here and you can see this nice white space, which I never craft like that. The amount of times I've ended up um, crafting on my knee because <laughs> I run out of desk space and I end up with a big shot on my knee trying to uh, trying to cut die cuts yeah so the nice bright white space that makes me look semi-organized is surrounded by the biggest amount of clutter so that will be the next job the tidy up operation I've gone for the little drink me bottle. It's also got a little key charm on it which is just too cute really. Too cute for words. Oh I was actually so delighted that there was more in the packet <laughs> than there was children coming to the party because I knew straight away that will do. I will be able to have a play with that. Right. Trying to see exactly where I had this. Sorry, referring back to my back to my phone. Yeah, it was right there. Memory is serving me correctly, which is always good. It makes a change. Right. Now this charm's a bit indented, so I need to try and make sure I get it on the, the handle and the spout. And no, don't worry, I'll not start singing Polly put the kettle on or I'm a little teacup or whatever it is. Random things do pop into my head as you may have noticed. Ba -ba -ba -ba. This is one of the flowers I made with the Sospeso. One day I will learn to say that. Yeah, Sospeso. I've got a... I, I did a video where I literally just played with this product. Um, so I will link that at the end so it should automatically pop up once this video plays. So if you want to learn a little bit more about how I made that I've done a video on my own. I thought it it's a bit of a, not a labour intensive, but it, 
it would take up time to show it on every video. So I thought if I did a video purely on that, and if you're interested, you can go and find that and give it a watch. But to be honest, any flowers would work. And I think just because it had the red and the white and the black, it went and it goes with the theme of painting the roses red. Now, the reason I chopped off her crown, the beautiful crown that Nikki drew her, I'm sorry, Nikki, <laughs> it got the chop, is that I've got this little embellishment here that just says Queen. So I thought that was perfect. So I'll just pop that on there. Okay. Now I'm also just going to grab a, um, a Copic marker. Sorry, I realise I'm I'm uh, leaning away from the microphone. Now I'm going to grab a Copic marker because those little gems are pink. Oops, oh, sorry, I've got my head in shot. Right. I probably should have done this before. Those little gems are pink and I'd prefer them to be a bit more red because you know it's the Queen of Hearts. It's supposed to be red. So I've just done that. That's just darkened those gems just a tiny little bit. And then what I want to do is just to add some gold splatters. So I'm going to grab my Gansy Tambies. These are well loved, well loved product. Told you I had far too many watercolours. Those golds, it's worth buying just, just for this bottom row here. Just saying. Try not to be too much of an enabler, but lush. Lush, 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 lush. I've not actually come across another gold that's as good. In my humble opinion. Right, what I am going to do is just grab a scrap of paper just to cover this little lady's face. Like that, because I don't want a big blob of gold on her face. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to grab my paintbrush and take some of that gold and do a splatter. Now, there's lots of ways of doing splattering. Everybody seems to do splattering. There's a gazillion, a gazillion YouTube videos on it. I'm not the first. I personally prefer, kind of, actually I should have covered the um, sentiment as well. Let's see if I can grab, grab a quick something. Do, 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 do. Let's see what I've got, right, that'll do. <laughs> Welcome to my normal crafty world when I'm not organised. Right, I'm going to, to splatter. I prefer kind of tapping it down with my finger. I tend to find when I do it over a brush like this, it's really, really fine. And I quite like big lumps. <laughs> I like big drips of paint. <laughs> okay, that should just tie tie that gold in. Okay, move that, move that out of the way. So I told you in the other video, I think it was when I was having my Jean Davenport, playing with my Jean Davenport paints, I was saying, you know, for ages I wanted them but I kept telling myself I have enough watercolours. I really do have lots of watercolours. But, you know, you just, you know, no, no, no. Okay, I think I am almost done. What I am just going to quickly do, I'm not going to be able to buff this just now because I need to wait for the gel medium to dry, but because the embellishments are silver and not gold, I just want to add, just want to add little touches of gold so that they sort of blend in. I don't mind there being a contrast, but I want it to look, you know, somewhat thought through. So I'm not necessarily covering the whole embellishment, I'm just covering little patches of it so it's not just a stark silver now, it's kind of a silver and, and gold blended together. But that's the sort of thing that would annoy me. It's funny, 
Yeah, I think I can be a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to my artwork. I'm not in anything else in my life. But there you go. So, that is my finished piece. So actually, it, it wasn't a project that took too long to, to make. So I hope you enjoyed that. This kit is absolutely fantastic. I would highly recommend that you have a look at it. It is so versatile. It has got so much in it. Um, I just thought I'd quickly, before I go, show you another project that I've made in the past with this. I mean, I've made lots of cards, but they're no longer in my stash. But I also made that a little while ago. This was just... It's a box. I think I was bought one of these deco cups. Um, and that's a box and lid. And that's a box lid of a piece of jewellery. And again, I've used all the various ephemera and some little bottles and some broken earrings. Um, I think that was a broken necklace. And put all of that, that together. So it is stuff that... It is a set I use a lot. And again, you can see the affinity with the Queen of Hearts because there she is popping in again. Maybe I should do one with Alice. <laughs> okay then, so that's me for today. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you would like to hear more from me, more of my ramblings, please feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.